Hey there weavers, welcome back. Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving here. And I finished up my Ticat rug and I had quite a bit of work left on it. Um, I always like to add additional warp so that I can play and experiment at the end of a project um, or practice at the beginning of a project. Um, so I have quite a bit left on the warp. So I thought that I would uh, do some experimenting with different uh, rug yarns and um, colors. So I had bought uh, a few skeins of rug wool several months ago, maybe even several years ago, and I had never used it. Um, it was kind of an experiment of uh, colors and set, and I never pursued the project that I had originally had in mind. But I've had it sitting around and I decided to pull it out, see what I had, and see if it worked with this project. So I think I've come up with a design. So here are, oops, here are the colors that I have, plus I have black, and I thought that I would weave this in a gradation on the rug with the green going to the red in the middle and then along the sides, still using the Tacat method, um, the red uh, to the green with some black thrown in there in some stripes here and there. We'll see how it comes out. But I, I think I'll start the rug off in black and then uh, we'll see how the set is, how many uh, picks per inch I get and how much yarn I have. I only have one skein of each and each skein is 65 yards. So it's not much, but I probably only have maybe 30 inches of warp that is usable. So maybe even not that. So we'll see where we get. So, okay. so here you can see the previous uh, warp or rug that I did. And we're just gonna add on to the end of it. And I am going to leave a fair amount of warp blank so that I can do some sort of a some sort of a hem. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm not going to do a, t a turned hem. I don't know. I'll figure it out. This is, is really just kind of experimenting with what I have. Um, so let's just go ahead and start in with the pattern and we'll figure out how many picks per inch I can get with this big rug wall. And I'm going to come up to about there. Yeah. Something doesn't feel right there. Uh, I think I know. I think I know what's going on here. I'm going to put in a little bit of a header to keep those, to keep these from uh, pulling up. So I think that's what's going on. So let's just go ahead and we've got some of the 8 4 on here. something about like that.
I think that'll work. Let's go ahead and cut that off. And I'm going to tighten up my tension a little bit more. Let's see how that works now. Oh, I think that's going to work much better. This is really thick stuff. Um, I might even, wow, that is really cool looking. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and to tuck my tails, because this is so big and I'm not really sure how it's going to, oh, it's a three ply, how am I gonna do that? Well, I will take and split my ply and we're going to come back in here and then wrap it around. And that'll just decrease some of the bulk in that little section. Yeah, that's, I think that will, I think that'll work. All right. So then this one, I'm going to bring in from this side. Because we're experimenting, I'm going to split this ply with two um, of the plies in it. And see how that works. This is going to be kind of fiddly for the first few picks, I think. So there's four. That's four picks.
So this is a little interesting to me in that because this is so bulky, um, it is actually not able to pack in as, uh, as tightly on this warp set. So the warp is actually showing through and I think I am going to see if I can do anything about it. It looks like I'm covering a fair amount. I think I'm going to keep going. Um, so I've got, uh, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So that's 12 picks. And that looks... right there. So I went from 42 picks per inch to 12. Um, yeah. Got some tensioning issues going on over here with my floating salvage. But I'm going to go with it. Let's, uh, let's just see where we go.
just figured out that it's sunny outside and he wants out. Okay. So yeah, that that actually looks like it's coming out pretty good. Um I think one of the things that I'm gonna do that's interesting that so this is this is, oh, this is very strange. So every other thread is being pushed in by me beating in. So let's see. it has to do with the fact that I didn't put anything in here uh, that's gonna that's gonna be a problem so I should have put cardboard or paper or something in there Boxer, are you saying hi to all the YouTube weavers Really? You want out? You want to go outside? Alright, well I'm going to see if I can um, thread something through there. Maybe a weaving stick? Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, something to just kind of take up that slack because that's going to cause a problem and maybe let my cat out and do a little more thinking on this experimental project. So we'll uh, take care of some chores and we'll come back and hopefully have solved the problems. Okay, okay.